It was a time in my life when I was high on life, essentially, and was doing a lot of good things in my career. And I met the man that would become my boyfriend, but ultimately would become my worst enemy. And I don't even know when it started to go wrong. But I do remember the very first time that he hit me. There was one time that sticks out in particular right before deployment when I had left a bucket of cleaning supplies out. And I remember regretting that because after a fight and argument, I found my head being pushed into a, block, into a bucket of Clorox. We got into an argument again like it normally happened and it was always petty stuff. Next thing you know, I had a left hook to my mouth, chipped tooth, bloody mouth, split lip. And I think that's when it finally hit me, that I needed to get out of the situation that I was in. The sad thing is I didn't. I don't know, something just told me, oh, it'll stop one day, thinking because he loved me. I truly convinced myself that maybe I could fix him. Turns out <laughs> there was nothing that I could do or anybody else was gonna be able to do to be able to do that. I'm really lucky because there are some people that don't make it out alive. But fortunately, everything happens for a reason in my book. And I'll never accept it that it was a good thing. But I will say that I'm proud of myself more than ever to not be only able to overcome, but to make it a learning experience and to be able to share my story so that it won't happen to someone else. And so that other people don't feel like they don't have a choice. The advice that I could give to someone who's going through the same thing that I did is that you're strong, you can do it, and don't ever, ever accept something in your life that is substandard and know that there is someone that will help you. All you gotta do is ask.